today I'm going to show you how to optimize your PC that way you could play at the highest level. So the first thing I'm going to go over is your NVIDIA control panel settings. So on the top where it says adjust image settings with preview, the first thing I'm going to do is slide this all the way to performance. And then manage 3D settings, I'm going to show you all the ones that you have to turn on. So the first thing you're going to do is go into low latency mode and switch this all the way to ultra. Most games do have this setting in game, but you should do it in both NVIDIA and in actual games. Next you go to power management mode and you put this to prefer maximum performance. And lastly, for texture filtering quality, you should put on high performance. Once you go to change resolution, you should always have your refresh rate set to the highest setting. Anything under 240Hz, I consider a limiting factor. So if you're in a situation where you need to get every single possible kill, whether you play competitively or you're a content creator, get at least a 240Hz monitor. Once you get to set up G-Sync, you should always have G-Sync off. There's a lot of videos covering G-Sync and how it causes input lag, but long story short is if you have more frames than the refresh rate of your monitor, you should have it off. But if you have less frames than your refresh rate, you should have it on. Next, you're going to search up graphic settings, and once you go into graphic settings, what you're going to do is you're going to go into browse, and once you're in browse, you're going to find where your game is installed, and what you're going to do is you're going to click on it and press add. And once you're in add, you're going to go into options, and you're going to press high performance. Next, you're going to go where your game is installed, and you're going to right click it and go into properties. Once you're in properties, you're going to go into compatibility, and you're going to disable full screen optimizations. Also, you're going to go into change high DPI settings, and you're going to press override high DPI scaling behavior. Press OK, and then press apply. Next, you right click your toolbar and you go to use an interest and you turn it off and then just turn off anything here that you don't need. Next, search up game mode and then turn it on. Once you go to captures, you turn everything off and then you go to Xbox game bar and you turn that off as well. Next, you're going to go to command prompt and you're going to copy this command into your command prompt. Once you enter it, it should unlock the ultimate performance plan. Also, I will have this exact same line in the description. Once you do this, what you can do is you're going to search up choose a power plan and it should appear as ultimate performance. Next, you type in notifications, and what you do is you turn off notifications, you go into focus assist, you turn it off, and then you go to tablet settings, and make sure it's always set to never use tablet mode. Now we're going to go over in-game settings. So what I do every time I open any game is I do control shift escape. It's going to open up my task manager. And once I open up task manager, I'm going to go into details, I'm going to find Modern Warfare 2, and I'm going to set priority to above normal. Technically, you can crank it up all the way to high, but if you're experiencing anything like input lag or stuttering, what you can do is you can keep it just at above normal. As for display settings, you have to make sure that your 3090 is on, you have to make sure that you're playing in full screen, they have no dynamic resolution on, and no V-Sync, no frame rate limit, and just 2.2 sRGB. It's very hard to see people in this game, so if you do have a HDR monitor, you can turn it on, but I don't, so I'm just going to suffer. No DLSS, no image scaling, none of this. Um, turn off fidelity effects, that's usually on by default. As for nearby level of detail, low and high doesn't really affect your FPS that much, at least in my experience. As for anti-aliasing, use suck my ass T2X. As for my textures, just copy everything I'm using if you want all the frames. It doesn't really affect visibility that much. As for shadows, I do have shadows on because when people around a corner, you get that slight advantage. If you have any of these three on, you are throwing. Lastly for view, I always have the maximum field of view just because I like seeing people and not dying to things that are off my screen. Final tip I have for you guys is that if you go into the bottom, you're going to see the subscribe button. You should probably click it. It's a good idea. And if you go into my link tree, there's all of my links. You can see everything else that I do with my life. If you don't know anything about me, my name is Soggy FPS. I'm 20 years old and I just got evicted in March. But now that it's September, we're through all that. So I live here in New York City with my wife and cats. And now I make one of tens for Elevates. We only make the best videos. We make only bangers. This jersey is very clean, by the way. Get your merch.